Morris Beach no. uh, catfishing, which is pretty important because a lot of people eat and catfish is in a lot of stuff sometimes. Like if you go to a restaurant, you order catfish, catfish is in that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So, catfishing is not just for eating, it's also for like recreational fishing. There's also fishing that like a lot of people like fish for a living, like they go to fish nets and stuff, but that's what, that's a little kid fishing and stuff, but the old timers used to fish with like a big pole, just like a wooden stick and line and like a head of fish on or something. But it's catfish bite really hard. So yeah, I can go from the old old people to the young young people. And pretty much the biggest catfish ever caught would be fifty nine or fifty eight pounds. But fat catfish are everywhere in the world pretty much. Well, everywhere in the northern America and South America, Central America, they're in a lot of places, even in Alaska and Canada and Hawaii. But the ways that you could catch them is a lot of people, like in Minnesota, the people where we go to go on vacation, they use these things, which they use for um, catfish and for dogfish, which are like really, really ugly catfish that have, have you ever seen like <coughs> snake heads, how they have the weird long tail, it's kind of like an eel, it's really disgusting, so they try to get them out of the lake because they multiply really fast. But you get them with this thing and pretty much these shards go in and they don't come back out and then you just like put them in a bucket or something and you just throw them away and kill them. Another way is by a rod and a reel, which is by what usually what I do, and you have to have a pretty heavy line in order to get some of the big ones. And then the crazy people use their hands, like they actually just go in down in the hole in a murky lake or stream and stick their hand in a hole. They don't know if there's a snapping turtle in there or a snake. Which I don't think is very smart. But yeah, and um, the biggest one we've ever caught was a 30 pounder, and the head on that thing was like the size of a basketball. It was amazing. But the kind of things that you can use for bait, you can use blood, you can use heart, you can use cheese heart and all this stuff. What we use is chicken liver, which is really gross, but what you want to do is you want to set it out for about three days in the hot summer sun and then put garlic on it and then it's really stinky and the catfish really like it. I've never seen this done, but I guess it worked pretty well if you use just a hot dog. What we do is we pretty much go up to a shallow, well, a stream bed underneath of a lake. If there's like an old stream and then it went under and the lake came over it, then there's a stream bed and you just fish right on the edge of the drop off where that usually is. And sometimes people like in the Congo and stuff or whatever use things that they put them on a tree and then they use stuff like this where it just has like cheese or soap. Actually they use soap sometimes on a hook on the bottom. But we just use um like right here I think that's a stream bed and you just fish off of that and that's where the catfish are. They like the place right in between the um, the sandy and the rocky. They'd rather have the rocks I guess but it's like right in between that's where you want it. And um, if you do good we don't usually get that many, that's more like commercial fishing, but we usually get like 10 or 15 of them sometimes. But there's a lot of different kinds of catfish. There's like rainbow catfish, and flathead catfish, and channel catfish, and lots of catfish. And it's oily, and the texture's kind of weird, but usually you make catfish sticks out of them, which is the way you, well, how you, how you, 
skin them is you take a plier, well, you take a really sharp knife and you cut them right by the gills, like right here, you cut down right there, and you pretty much slit its throat, kind of. Then you take pliers and you rip, like you take the skin and you rip it off because it's not, it's not scales, it's more like a skin, and it's really hard to get off the meat, so you rip, rip, rip all the way down, and then you cut off just like a regular fish. Yeah, and then you usually just cut the blaze into stuff like fish sticks. And, uh, like, my dad makes them pretty good, but they're kind of oily. I don't really like them that much. They're like a walleye. But, yeah. And I told you about how kind of the history of them, about how you use to catch them.